2020 is over and I'm making this video to kind of let you guys see what is kind of in my garage, what's in Becker's garage, what's in, what kind of cars I have, what they all do, what they're all for. And I really wanna compare this to next year. I'm gonna do this video and post it every year on Christmas and it's going to just kind of have a transformation. I'm really hoping that there's a lot of new cars here next year. Uh, we get rid of the cars that we're not going to pursue for long term and um, I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. Hello people, happy holidays. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, and welcome back to a beautiful day here in Arizona. Um, I'm gonna be posting this on Christmas, so Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you support. Um, today I'm gonna be giving you guys an overview of the garage, an overview of all the channel cars, and everything that we did this year, and what's to come next year. I have a bunch of goals for next year for the channel. This is my first year making a YouTube channel, but uh, that's why I'm an elf. Uh, maybe next year I'll be Santa Claus. Um, anyways, let's get started. So these are all the cars that we've used in the channel. So this is my 2014 Chevy Spark. I got it brand new in August of 2013. Um, it gets me 50 miles to the gallon. It gets me to and from my day job. And it... Mm, cut. Next up is my Jeep Wrangler TJ. Um, this year actually so much work went into this car. It got all new suspension. There are Curry Johnny joints. I got a hard top for it. Uh, new mirrors, new bumper, new winch. This car I actually put in more work than any other car I've owned I think. And just because it was hardly running when I first got it. Uh, I actually drove eight hours to pick it up one way and then eight hours back. So the thing about this Jeep is it's a dedicated off-roader. I got it just to do some off-roading with. Uh, it doesn't cruise on the freeway that nice. Um, it's not as nice as a truck or like a sports car or anything like that. It's all body rolly and stuff when you hit corners. But the nice thing about it is that it does everything I need to do when I go off-roading. It'll take me anywhere. Oh, so when I first got the Jeep, it was actually two years ago. Um, it was February of 2019. Um, when I got it, it was hardly running. I had to put a decent bit of work into the motor. I had to completely redo the suspension, and also the transmission gave me some issues, so I had to swap out the transmission. So goals for 2021 is going to be to redo this interior of the Jeep. It's uh, marked up with Jeep life on the steering wheel. There are, there's nothing on the floor besides these floor mats, and I really think I could use some decent, not a carpet kit, because if you forward water, then the water's all gonna get inside the Jeep and it'll like mold up the carpets, but just something to make the carpets look better. Um, maybe redo these door panels. They don't look awful, but they don't look good, obviously. And then figure out something in the back, make it look nicer back here. And then obviously uh, fix that sound system because that's kind of important when you're off-roading. The Jeep is not, hasn't really ever been a huge part of the channel just because it's not really what the channel is gonna be about. I mean, it's more about like sports cars and stuff, but I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of Jeep stuff here and there. The biggest thing is I'm going to keep you guys updated on what I do to the Jeep when I do fix something, break something. It's only broken down on me once, but I just pulled it home, dropped it off in the front yard, and left it there for a month because the fuel pump was broken, and then I just dropped the fuel tank, swapped it out in a night, and then just put it back in. Anyways, let's get back to the sports cars of the channel. So here is the Corvette. Um, this is going to be the first project that we're going to work on in 2021, 2021 um, because this car is going to be the fast car. It's going to be the race car. It's going to be faster than the new Corvette. That's the biggest thing. Uh, the goal is still 600 horsepower, but I have decided that we're not going to do, what do we say, twin turbos? We're going to do one turbo. The reason we're doing one turbo is one, it's more cost efficient, and two, we're not going to uh, rebuild the entire motor yet to handle super high amounts of boost. We're going to shoot for around 15 to 20 PSI. 20 PSI. We're going to shoot for 20 PSI, uh, make it reliable for the roads, and have a really good intercooling system, a really good uh, AFR system so we can monitor and make sure we don't blow anything up uh, until we want to blow something up. And then when we blow something up, we'll rebuild it and then we'll put more power into it. But for 2021, the goal is gonna be that 600 horsepower mark at least, if not 700. So I am thinking we are gonna keep the interior exactly how it is. We're not gonna mess with it. We're not gonna strip it or do anything weird like that. Only because 
I don't really like the look of strip cars unless they're like totally raced out. If we get to 1,000 horsepower, 1,200 horsepower, that's when we'll start worrying about weight. 600 horsepower, 650, 700 horsepower is gonna be the goal to be faster than those new C8 Corvettes. Um, and that's gonna happen because that's the first project. It's uh, actually put the Miata on the back burner. Speaking of the Miata, the Miata is kind of where the channel started with. Um, I literally bought this Miata to kind of make like a little sports car like I hadn't had a sports car for a couple years So this was kind of the thing to take the spot of like the next car I was gonna build and it wasn't even really gonna be for like a YouTube channel or anything like that, but um, Yeah, anyways, it's still pretty stock besides the exhaust. We swapped out the headers and stuff So immediately after the Corvette is done uh, the Miata is the next project. It's gonna be kind of the priority project of the channel um, but the biggest goal for next year for 2021 and it's gonna be early 2021 is gonna to be to get a supercar uh, I have a couple cars in mind I'm pretty sure I know which one I'm gonna pick and I don't want to spoil anything because I don't want to be full of poop and not say what I'm actually gonna get or say what I'm gonna get but I'm not actually gonna get it but I have like three cars but one of them is kind of narrowed down to the one that I'm gonna get so other than that I just want to show you guys this is my Gixxer 600, I don't ride it that often, and this is my Honda VFR 750, the bike that we've kind of in the process of pulling out the motor, but haven't pulled out the motor yet, but that was supposed to go into this buggy right here. The buggy itself, I don't know, it just, it just kind of went on the back burner, I'm not really sure why I didn't really feel like pulling the motor, um, a couple of the bolts were like... I don't know, I need like certain tools to pull out some of these bolts and I need to get a couple new tools, but I did get a whole new tool set for my birthday last month. So after, you know what, that's, that's another goal. We're gonna make that a goal of 2021 as well. So we're gonna make the Corvette 650 horsepower. We're gonna make the Miata turbocharge. We're gonna turbocharge the Miata, have it to 300 horsepower, and then we're gonna fix the buggy, whether it be put in that bike motor, uh, put it in the stock motor, which is a, 450 cc two-stroke motor which i have no luck with two strokes i don't know why uh judging by this jet ski right next to it as well also two stroke um the goal is going to be to figure out what's going on in this buggy because it's taking up a lot of room um speaking of taking up a lot of room these two cars this truck and that red mercedes the truck for some reason doesn't run i tried the ecu it's not getting spark it probably doesn't need a lot to get it running. I just have to figure out why it's not getting spark. It might even be a distributor. I just have to do like some tests on a couple uh, electrical components and then I can get it running, I get it moved, and it ran when I pulled it home and then it just stopped getting spark for some reason. I don't freaking know why. That is pretty much a full tour. We got the Rambler all the way over there in the corner, which, uh, is pretty much just one of the daily drivers and it's used to haul engines. As you've seen before, it's used to haul pit bikes and it's used to haul pretty much anything that we need to move around in the channel and to pick up stuff. So that's what I have a truck for. Everybody needs a truck. If you guys haven't noticed, every single one of my vehicles has a function, it has a use and it has a reason. I don't have all of these because I just like to hoard vehicles. I do like to hoard vehicles, but I don't have all these. They all have a function and except for these two these two don't really have a function they're just taking up garage space and they need to be moved so i can get the supercar um the miata is going to stay mm, i'll probably move the miata to the backyard until we're done with the corvette we'll bring the corvette into here we'll bring the supercar into here and yeah that's about it oh and there's one more car over here in the corner two more cars actually so this is my pontiac fiero uh it's one of my first cars it's a 1988 formula, probably one of the most exclusive, least produced Fiero that there was. Um, this is a car I want to have when I'm 80. When I'm 70 or 80, I have like an old car. I'm an old man just driving his old car. And yeah, it runs. I just haven't ran it for a few years. I'm kind of worried about the seals. I'm going to do a little more research on getting it running. Uh, this is still on the back burner for sure. It's not something I'm going to be working on next year. Um, but we'll see, anything could happen. If I could get the other projects finished, like on time, everything goes well, then yeah, sure, we'll get this running. And then, well, not running, but we'll put fresh fluids and fresh shields and stuff on it. We'll get all that done. And yeah, this is a car I'm just gonna keep forever, keep stock, keep original, 
and love it. And that is a car that my friend left here for like four years. He said he's gonna pull off the parts because he has a Celica and he wants to keep all the parts for it. Zach, come get your car. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for watching today, guys. Um, I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Enjoy your presents, enjoy your family, um, enjoy your time. Other than that, you guys have a great day.